Yes, yeah, so hello and welcome to round 17. Is it 17? Yeah. Yeah, Suzuka here in uh, the Formula 11 Championship in the OR Leagues. We're here tonight in a very fast flowing circuit and we're going to get straight into the action because we have no thumbnail at this current time. <laughs> we're joined tonight also by guest commentator uh, Fizzyfan91. And it's going to be some race where we hit the back end of this championship. And Menk is looking to seal the championship as early as he can. As you can see, he's in second at the moment. He looks like he's crashed out of qualifying now and cramps. That's put it on professional pole. The championship rival Maxwell in third, so it could be an interesting first lap. Maxwell needs to get ahead of uh, Ma Mink at the start. And Mink has a 33 point lead. It, uh, it should be an exciting race. So, coming at the final uh, few runs, let's uh, get this music off. So can you join us uh, for Formula 11? It's 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 only 10 leagues down the ladder, but it also produces some pretty amazing racing. How do you uh, how do you feel about about uh, commentating on such a lower league? You're, you're not used to commentating on these lower leagues, are you? Very good as we have Maxwell coming in to, well he might not get back out in time, that might be him finished because he's qualifying, so let's get on to cramps, looks like he's about to start a lap, let's go on board here into turn one, heavy braking while we're turning here, and uh, going into the fast S's section, down to fourth gear, let's get the telemetry on. He'll uh, up to fifth and then hopefully full throttle he lifts a bit there. And uh, coming to Degna 1 now. Oh, he's went a bit wide there. He's fastest by half a second, so. commentators curse there and uh, we're joker going up into fourth we've now got the top four in the championship next well. next to each other Tim, uh, only three tenths off pole now, and only 20 seconds remaining. People on their final laps, and Maxwell is in no way is getting to the line from there. So Maxwell's qualifying is over, but Joker is going to improve in this lap. Nice, no, stays fifth. Victor Ross is finished. Jay looks like he's across the line in time. Jay was our first pole setter back in Australia and he's went wide. And, he's <laughs> and that's end for him. He'll be 
eighth as SLI is in fact set a decent lap time. These two have been close all season and Force India are a clear third or fourth in the constructors. Um, Tim's finished in cramps. Coming up the line now. Could he improve? No. Stays in 27.5, but I think he'll be safe for Paul. As. Ficken uh, looks like he's cruising home. And it looks like we're done here. Magnussen, who's had a torrid season at the back, almost every race, and Patty Fuchs, who's shown potential in some races, but then he's had incidents, which meant he's finished out the points a lot of the time. Two guys who have both been in AOR for a long time, in various leagues, up and down the ladder, so their experience, hopefully, will carry them through. Oh, my goodness, that's Rivals starting next to each other on the grid on the second row. So here's our qualifying results. So we'll be and it's uh, cramps on pole by three times. Nearly almost everyone on the super soft tyres. Tim in second, Mink on the second row alongside Max, his rival. Victor Vasa in seventh on the soft tyres. So what's the gap between? Tires, I think, maybe uh, half a second. A bit less than a second, I would think. So, but Victor Vasa on his tire deficit would probably be around second place, maybe second, third. Right. So, yeah, it's going to be tight race. The uh, championship rivals on the same row. Well, we're waiting for a formation lap. And the uh, strategies, we'll look at the last race results, and it was uh, Menk increasing his championship lead over Max. Max was the fastest man in the last race, but he messed up qualifying and uh, had to come through the field. Um, yeah, Cramps in fourth in the championship, finished third, and Joker had another fall from grace after qualifying he finished in 7th and uh, Fumiad, our old championship leader, finished 10th so we've had various people that could have won this championship M Mank has turned up for every race and uh, rightfully leading the championship uh, and we'll look at those standings Menk has won three out of the last four races uh, and leads by 33 points. Joker 75 points behind Menk. He's had some decent qualifying results in the past five or six races. And he could have won Monza but was hit out of the way by uh, Hignaldi. Uh, Footyard, of course, won the first race of the season, was leading the championship, but hasn't turned up for some of the races, and DNF, that was some of the races he did. Uh, and Steve Jackson, who's also 
been on the front row a couple of times in the last few races is uh, a disaster uh, races <laughs> incidents happen and he's ended up outside the points he constructor standings well and still sober leading by 36 points uh, squid quitting for Ferrari earlier in the seasons got Jack in place but he is a reserve, so. Or is he no main driver? Uh, thanks for that correction. And uh, so Silver leads by with Mink and Footyard. And uh, Force India in a clear third by 40 ish points. And then red, the Red Bulls of Tim and J. Yeah, separated by about 10 points there. Coming to the end of our formation laps now. Worth noting, I guess, for the Constructor Championship that uh, one of the Sauber's are missing. Foutier is not on the grid, which means uh, Ferrari have two drivers that can score points, unlike Sauber today. Mm. Of course, Sauber has a championship uh, leader on the driver's side, so. Too much fun. Well, Cramps is absolutely flew in this formation lap, waiting for everybody to catch up. Seems to get a decent can. Decent bank, yeah. Second and third were stuck on the grid there, so they've had some shenanigans on the formation lap. Hmm. <laughs> Get on the way. Where are we went on? Went on Magnuson. <laughs> Here we go there. Four. Five red lights. Where are we go? One more away. Has to a decent start. Mink is alongside Maxwell. Mink gets ahead. Oh, Max will get close there. Cramp still leads. Oh, they're getting a bit feisty here in the first section of the S's. Might be in a cut off there. Two Force Indians still together. Liggins has uh, lost the position with back up. Jay. Jay and Liggins going side by side in the background there. Oh, Cramps comfortably getting away then. Tim in second. Mankford and Max will. Putting the pressure on. Get to four as they started. Joker had to hold off SLI a bit. And uh, Party Fuchs from 14, that's getting two places at the back of the field. So, uh, starting a solid combat or maybe? Uh, alternate strategy? Yeah, SLI worth noting on those softer tyres, or was it Victor Wasser? Yeah, Wasser. Wasser. Yeah, Wasser. Or the harder tyres, actually. Mm. Yeah, sure. Timing screen's a bit messed up here. But Tim hanging on to the back of cramps, so now. Into the chicane for the first time, and Tim's went through there a bit better. close together here and a train of cars behind them oh yeah. Renault and the McLaren going close looks like Magnussen may have a, had an incident he's spun going up the hill it's going to lose him a lot of time getting it turned back around that's, back, that's yellow flex in sector 2 now as well so, 
Tim's taking the lead from Cramps. Ooh. And, uh, What's happened? Looks like he's messed up through Spoon. Well, it was a Cramps that we saw in one of his quality runs that he messed up uh, the exit of Spoon as well, so maybe not liking that corner too much Ooh. as he nearly has Mank, the championship leader, run into the back of him, and that would be the last thing that the Sauber wants to do, because you know how. Uh, how easy the front wings can fall off these cars. Yes, we got uh, this car staying quite close to each other in his opening laps. Uh, got uh, Williams still close together, and Magnussen is out of the race already. Time and time again, Magnussen has had disasters on lap one and can't continue. Well, if you already mentioned Nicole Fang about his uh, disaster races, then uh, it seems like that one is intending to push it for him. As the McLaren, I think that's in the Aldi of Carty Fuchs, getting very close, storming into. Oh, no. but Miranda's actually got removed from oh, there, no. and he's lost a piece of his front wing, and he's spun off the track. I was a little bit optimistic, I would say, to go for a move at the Daners. That's not really an overall overtaking place. No, and. Uh, no, party folks on the back foot as well. He's a new person in the last place. Yeah, and he's lost his teammates, Kane Jr. is out of the race as well. Yeah, so not going good for Renault. Look at that, side by side. For third. Side by side for one third yard. And Cramps has to go wide as Menk takes the lead, can the Ferrari? The Max come as well. Yeah, that was best of a second actually, and this is allowing uh, Tim to pull away while these guys are battling. And yeah, Mank taking that second place from, uh, from Cramps to start on pole. He's gone backwards, he's gone the wrong way for the Haas driver. And Maxwell won't want any cars between him and Mank because he doesn't want to lose any pace here. And Cramps may be unsettled with all the incidents he's having. So. This is helping Tim a bit. Still 1.8 seconds. Oh, as Cramps is uh, younger, he's uh, <laughs> increasing as he's cut well. too many corners and he's just all over the place at the moment. And Max will be desperate to get past him. Yeah, he's actually a bit frustrated, does Cramps at the moment? Making a few mistakes and get a penalty, so he just needs to get his head back on. Focus this and let him have to go. So we've got the Force Indias here. Will there be any team orders on different strategies? Signali gets a penalty. He's uh, got G and Jack Daw behind him. Looks like Jay's gonna pull out. And he's just sit back in behind. See him get the move done into the oh! chicken! As Jock Daw bends it! Out <laughs> of the race! One. And. Uh, his first race as a main driver has ended in disaster. Let's see if we can see the remaining debris from Riggins' point of view. There's my Ferrari then up in the wall on the right there. And that's not going to help yeah, him in the constructors. He was just behind the two cars battling ahead of him. From the underside of the curb on the, on the exit of 130R. Yeah, the car just said, nope, not having that. And he's dead. Meanwhile, yeah, Meng's not having the gap increase. It's remained about the same. Cramps hanging on, Esher at Max has fell back uh, a little bit. And Joker's starting to hone on, hone in on the Ferrari. Yeah, it seems like the pace of the top two very similar. Been a gap of on 1.8 seconds for ages now. Cramps and Maxwell struggling a little bit to keep up with the top two at the moment as Viggen picks up another, or well, 
Just driving and picking up a penalty. I thought it'd be quite difficult picking up penalties here, but. Yeah, drivers seem to be outdoing themselves. Well, I have to admit, I've not really driven much on this game. I don't remember anything at all, but um, I would imagine like the chicane, maybe. Uh, maybe, I know that exit of, uh, or like the mid middle part of uh, Spoon, maybe, gives you a warning. Yeah. yeah, that's right. If you do extend, you get a penalty a warning. Um, Everyone's settling down into their positions. And uh, top five reasonably close, but Tim getting about a tenth per lap. Men come out of Damsey's tires getting past a couple of them, but I'm trying to chase Tim down. As long as he he's ahead of Max, well though. He'll increase his championship lead because Max is really one, the only other rival. Joker in third, 75 points behind, so realistically Mank needs to crash out of a couple of races. Yeah, I mean, he needs to crash off out of at least uh, at least three, <laughs> just to, for, I don't know, with Joker winning all of them, for just for him to get back on level terms. Seems tricky. His tyres will be starting to go off now and uh, we'll be looking to pit in the next two or three laps. Uh, it must be speeding, he's in the pits and uh, his race is going to pot. Maxwell getting back up to Cramp's gearbox now. Let's see what uh, ERS is using. Must be on, say, medium. In the slipstream. And closing on them in so she can. We have a go in a turn one. No, oh, we went that twitch. It was nearly a second Ferrari lost at 139. Unfortunately, this threat is not really as long as maybe Max would want to lose. Max has put his ERS up. He's going up the inside. Look at that overspeed. And uh, looks like he's completed the move. It's like Cramps gave him that. So Max now is one and a half seconds behind Mink. He'll be pleased to get that done a bit, well, as early as possible. As Tim's increasing his lead, he's increased his lead by about a second in the past three laps. And you can't recall Tim's. Won a race yet? Uh, I believe he did. He might have won at Baku. It's actually we'll get our uh, researcher on that. The Force Indians are uh, have split up a bit. This party folks get a gets a three second penalty and. He's, uh, he was eight tenths behind Joker, who I believe was pitted. So let's look at the uh, Joker. That's pitted for medium, so we're looking to go to the end here. That's uh, hmm. I'm not sure if the mediums was the optimum strategy. I suppose you can't do uh, twenty laps on the. The yellow soft tyres. So Joker's looking to 
maybe get the undercut here on uh, uh, Max and and uh, Cramps as Maxwell is in the pits. He's just coming out now. Looks like he's going to be fine in front of Joker. Yeah. Just five a second. Joker has gained a bit of time there. Pitting a lap earlier. Oh, as Victor Wasser has picked up three second time penalty and he's on that alternative strategy. He's not going to help him. His uh, team leads up by another second, 3.7. Confirm that Tim has uh, not won a race oh, no, this right. season. He's had two second places. Oh, so but he's not won a race. Well, there you go. Can he keep it? Hold it together. Still another 18 laps to go. Let's see. Two in the pits, actually. Top three in the pits. That's the last three guys. Two sudden suits off to change tires. Uh, Tim's going to go on the mediums. Let's see if the other guys will do something different. Make and um, cramps into the box at the same time. Both onto the mediums as well. Right. So, so be the same strategy, the safe strategy to go for. So here comes Maxwell and Joker. Joker's going to have the run oh. on him actually. While the guys in front are coming out of the pits. It's going to be close with cramps, especially, no, oh, they're just out in front of him, but Joker's made the move on Max, and that's going to frustrate Max big time. Man, Max has actually lost out, yeah, to cramps as well, who just passed a few laps ago. Cramps having a bit of disaster there ahead, he's going a lot wide in these uh, colder mediums. Joker's a man of the mood at the moment. He's uh, got temp uh, tires up to temperature and he's all over the back of cramps. Maybe look at the podium in this race if he can keep this up. Well, Joker could have had a few podiums earlier this season, but a couple of incidents out of his control of men he's finished back in seventh where he usually finishes. <laughs> four, four seventh place finishes. Several sixth and eighth as well. So. Yeah, so average seventh place for Joker. He's picked it up in the last two races though. Look at this, Maxwell now coming back at Joker. And some great engine sounds there. It's revving. Joker looking up his tires right in the back of cramps. Numbers right here. Of course, uh, Joker and Max have got switching as well. Uh, sorry, and, and DRS. Max not close enough, but Joker's going to make the move. Up into a net, third place. Uh, Victor Wasa still to pit. There you go, jump down for Joker and up into the net, third place. Uh, so, question now, he's of course got two laps older mediums than. Uh, one lap of them under the max. So, does he have the pace to close in on Mank? Or is this going to be a case of just holding on from uh, the two cars behind him? Mm, yeah, I think, uh, I think Tim has this under control. He has got really good pace around here, and Mank can only match him at the best of times. Uh, Ramps still in front of Maxwell. Maxwell will be want to get past as soon as he can. Cramps has fallen down quite a bit since taking pole. Yeah, it's not uh, worked out for Max this race, uh, really. It's uh, going to be, as it stands, about eight points further in favour of uh, of Mank in the championship. So, yeah, it's it's important for Max. To at least get ahead of the two guys ahead of him to minimise the, the loss as much as possible. Victor Pass actually pits already. 
So we thought Kramps was under pressure there from Max, but Kramps was the one having a go at Joker. These three look about a similar pace as Menk, in fact, has decreased the gap by a couple of tenths in that lap. Got to do another 15 laps on these tyres. The mediums seem to be better as the, the more laps they do. Decide to retire quite quickly. Here's SLI getting in the back of party folks who looks like he's just getting out of the way. Yeah, party folks have been in the pit yet, so really, uh, really his battle is. Oh, maybe a lag spike there for party folks. Compromised after his spin out of Degner 2 earlier. 11 laps on these tyres. Oh, and in fact, he's left, so no. that's why we had the lag spike. <laughs> no doubt. But his car is going to keep driving round. So, that might, might cause issues for other drivers, but should just ghost for him. So we're halfway through the race and Tim leads by four and a half seconds. He's increased that gap by about half a second in the last couple of laps. Over Meg, Joker in third, but still has cramps and Max all right behind him. Victor Wasser three and a half seconds further back and then SLI is six seconds behind his teammate. Victor has got a penalty. Liggins has got a couple of penalties. He's in eight. His party folks is AI pits in Hinaldi. Got a fair bit behind the next car and then Jay, I can't remember what happened to Jay, but he's uh, not having the best of races here and I mean he might be looking to just get a couple of points. He is chasing down Hinaldi. Put another set of super softs on at the end. Uh, maybe do about 15 laps on these soft tyres. So it won't make much difference of position, though. Really, only fighting for a couple of points. Uh, it's probably just going to put him behind Jay. Oh, is Maxwell has not a five second stop go penalty. His mate is on his pits up in the race, so that's going to be added on as a time penalty at the end. Championship slipping away here for Maxwell. He's not done him snow any favours in some of these races. And uh, that, well. He's only really under pressure from Victor Wasa for that penalty. 
And he looks like he's a bit annoyed, he's not really on the pace anymore. Maybe I made a mis mistake. Is she dropping came. quickly away from Crams at the moment, and look how quickly uh, Victor is close in as well. Oh dear, I wonder if he's got technical issues or he just. Well, surely not lost motivation. But uh, he's. Seconds behind Gramps. Uh, let's look at his mirrors. He's on a low ERS setting, but shouldn't be falling that far back. And he's went wide and he's going to let Wasat past. Oh, oh. my lag spike has <laughs> denied him of that. He's going to have a go up the inside and to the triangle. Oh, there he goes. Oh, just gets it stopped. It's a little bit optimistic there, maybe a little bit impatient from uh, Victor as well. So much of the pits. So, maybe on to the soft tyres, in fact, he's have to serve his penalty now. And uh, oh, it's a wing change, he's, he's had uh, some wing trouble. Right, well, that's losing him even more time. So really he'll be looking to get back up to about 6 if he can, but... Well... 11 laps... He be a big gap. Yeah... What's that, 13, 16, 17... 17 seconds off a... Well... Well, 20... 20... well, 12... Yeah, about 30 seconds behind Wasser. You'll be quicker at the end, but Liggins has got those penalties, so that will help Max and Victor's got that penalty as well. As for this fight, it's a bit broken up now. Cramps uh, is following a second and a half behind Joker. Joker three seconds behind Mink. Uh, but Tim has been maintaining that gap. 10 laps, 11 laps ish to go. Yeah, it's all spread out a bit. In terms of uh, battles, all the drivers will be focusing on just uh, putting the, uh, the times in and staying on track, avoiding penalties. It's not really being caught by Mink. Mink is not really being caught by Joker. Cramps, he dropped out of DRS range, but is perhaps the ground. 1.3 seconds ground since then. And Victor, of course, is slightly fresher tires than everyone ahead of him. And uh, he's got that four and a half second gap to close down. And, uh, with the top four all being pretty fast, it's going to be yeah, pretty tricky for him. Well, I think decreased the gap by about half a second that lap. He is increasing his lead at the moment by what, about 15, 16 points. So, I mean, it really does look like mink has got one hand on the trophy. And if it does finish like this, then we'd have almost a two race. Winning margin, he could have two DNFs and still win the title. And after this, there'll be only four races left. Um, Minx a bit loose there, as Max has actually done the fastest lap on those tyres. 12 seconds behind his, uh, the nearest car.
for Mink as he stands. He could go on holiday after Mexico, probably. Let's <laughs> chill out for the last uh, two weeks. So, yeah, pressure's on Maxwell. He's uh, close in about a second on Jay since he came out of the pits, but still with 11 seconds there. Close down. Let's see, cramps. Just very slowly losing. A bit of ground in Joker still. Uh, so not been able to convert the pole the same. So the so far thing for the three seconds ahead of P2. But uh, the race pace looked quite thin the same level. Hmm, it's been a bit of a theme this season where the pole setter hasn't gone on to win the race. And like Jay, as we said at Australia, he went and what DNF there. Can't remember. Uh, that only person that's really been able to do it is Mank, and that's why he's got a decent lead. Quite interesting, actually, that uh, Mank has uh, got such a big lead in the championship um, until <laughs> until before round 13. He had only won one race. <laughs> oh. Oh. And that is one now three in the last four, so it's clearly uh it's clearly just put a foot down in recent rounds and, and built that gap. Now that he realizes that a championship is right there for his taking. Yeah, the Thor Toro Rosso's a Joker and Steve Jackson have also picked up their game for the second half of the season. No, look at that! Mank has picked up a penalty, and that, well, he won't f fall back many positions at the moment, but he'll uh, hamper any chances he has of winning the race. Well, indeed, and maybe, if, uh, maybe Jeff will be uh, telling Joker about that uh, as well. The car has got a penalty. As Cramps get yeah. a penalty as well. Oh dear, it's all falling apart here. Well, Joker is a. Uh, Joker's now within three seconds. He's close to a few tenths now. And just after uh, Mike's got a penalty, he's teetering right on that edge as to whether he'll get that position as he stands. So, Joker, if he knows about Mike's penalty, he'll be extra motivated to try and mm. keep the gap under three seconds now. Uh, Maxwell will be hoping for anybody to take points off of Mank if he wants to. Remain in this fight, although a feeling Mank will need to DNF a couple of these remaining races, regardless of today's results. And uh, yeah, Mank's only had three DNFs all season, but at least those three DNFs shows that it can happen to him. Yeah, and I believe one of those DNFs was at um, Silverstone on the on the. Uh, Hanger straight where he was side by side with someone and he got a uh, well pit maneuvered into the wall and they were about, they were about three wide in an incident and Mank was straight into the wall so that could just end straight away and, and that was on the first couple of laps that race. Um, there has been so many different well Potential people that could be you know, leading the race, if it, leading the championship, if it gone well for them in every race. Uh, and Footyard, who looked like he was the early pace there in this championship, hasn't turned up for many of the races, but even when he has, it looks like some of the guys have. Uh, Picked up the pace since. What I find interesting is that uh, based on the championship standing at the moment, we've got seven different race winners this season. And Joker, mm. who's third in the standings, is not one of them. Oh, well. Joker, are we looking to get his name on the winning roster at some point in the remaining races? Might not happen today, though. And then he's. Just under 8 seconds off the lead. 
if Tim somehow crashed out the race, Joker would then be in contention with Manx penalty. And Joker was probably the cleanest driver in the league and he's don't remember him. I think he's picked up one or two corner cutting penalties all season. That's one too too many. <laughs> From the guy who managed to uh, season was it season fifteen, I got through the season without a single penalty. Huh? <laughs> That's also my final season. Well, there you go. It can happen to the, the best of us. And uh, although you look at tracks like Singapore and Monza, Joker didn't pick up any penalties there, where everybody else did, apart from one or two other people. And. Uh, Look at this gap. It's uh, back up to 4.3. It's been up and down over the last few laps. Only five laps to go. Uh, Tim looks like he's got it under control. Yeah, it looks like it's going to take a mistake from Tim at the moment to uh, lose this. Uh this race win, um, especially considering Meng's penalty as well, so he essentially has a, a seven second gap. So, seems comfortable. Mm, Joker's unfortunately fallen out of that Meng penalty range. He's about four seconds back now. And his tyres are a couple of laps older. So looking just to consolidate Fard, still under pressure from Cramps though, who's still one and a half seconds back. Yeah, Cramps hanging on. It's been several times where it looks like it's going to start falling away from Joker, but I mean, it always seems to claw that gap back to around 1.3 seconds. But uh, yeah, he just can't, can't quite get back into the DRS range to, uh, to challenge the Thomas. Maxwell back up to 8th on his fresher tyres. Slowly closing in on Jay. He is on 7 lap old and slower tyres. And then that might be as far as he gets. Well, he isn't closing in and rapidly per sector as he would like. since it's bit stuff and clearly wouldn't need a lot more than that to be able to catch uh, the cars ahead. And of course only about four laps left as well, so probably gonna be sticking in eighth place. Mink the gap down by a little bit, or even half a second. Maybe uh, Tim was affected by the uh, ghost in Renault. This car looks alright. Yeah, a pretty uh, flawless drive from the Red Bull, to be honest. This race. Into the lead uh, after a lap or two for uh, Just stay there. Hasn't looked back since. Made any mistakes. And, uh, mm. Got the pace up to his What you need to win the race. Cool coming to here really trying to give him the curse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tim, can you hold it together? He's, uh, he, he did come close in one of the races. Uh, he was really close to winning. Uh, I can't remember where he finished second. Silverstone, I think he was close. Um, 
He got back up again. He had lost a second, but... Oh, look at Joker, though. I think it's Menk that's lost time, because Joker's now um, within oh. those three seconds. So only three laps, including this one. Can Joker keep the gap below three seconds? He's on two lap older tyres, so he might struggle. Uh, Cramp still. Second and a half back. And Maxwell hasn't gained any time in the past lap. So he's guaranteed eighth now. Could be the main focus of the rest of this championship actually, who finishes in third. Because the top two look like they're settled. Um, Menk is going to gain about 14 points and it will be 49 point lead for Menk. Six points between them, so that's uh, well, it's going to be nine after this race, as it stands, with the Joker having made that move on Cramps earlier in the race, which uh, could be crucial mm -hmm. for their championship. Uh, yeah, it might be up to 12, though, if Joker can stay in the three seconds zone to make. It's, it's up to 2.8, though, and there's just a lap and a bit left. As Liggins gets another penalty. Well, Joker just needs to. Uh, well, he just needs to keep pushing because it's oh, it's a, it's half a tenth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's oh, no. it's failed. And he's what's he? Uh, he's on full ERS mode. Push into the max. What's uh, Menk on? He's well, he's low-ish. Joker just doesn't have as much grip as Menk, and he's gonna need Menk to make a mistake. Joker had the left there. Well, that's a bit slow <laughs> there. And looks like Tim's taking it easy, he's lost half a second this lap. No, it's gonna be tight. He's gonna get second. It's a of watching the, the timings more than the cars at the moment on this final lap of yeah. the Japanese Grand Prix. Indeed it is, and... As far as the leads, well, Tim's drew, driven a flawless race. He's finished second on two occasions this season. And he was really disappointed when he came close early in the season. But here he comes around the final corner. Tim takes victory. Who's going to get second? Joker looks like he's in zone. Oh, the last corner, he gets it. Mankford, cramps for Victor Wassa. We'll get fifth, and it's a bit, well, a bit far back is the uh, SLI. So he's gonna stay ahead of J. Keeper's got a penalty. That's the question here. Uh, well, stay in the positions they cross the line in. 
which makes a change. And Maxwell disappoint in eighth place, that could be it. Maxwell be the disappointed with that. <laughs> Indeed he will do. <laughs> <laughs> Liggins, his many penalties. He's a. Uh, he might get beat by Hinaldi here. Hinaldi did get a penalty uh, across the line, and we'll never know. <laughs> never know. Nah. Here's your podium, man. Tim wins, Joker. Second, and Menk increasing his lead, as we said. So uh, Tim becoming the eighth different winner in F11 this season in in 17 races. Not bad. Incredible, just like F1 2012 in real life. It's one of the best seasons you'll see in AOR history. It's this F11 championship. <laughs> So your final race results then again, Tim. Victory from Joker by four tenths over Menk after Menk's penalty. Cramps fourth. Well, actually, Cramps had penalty, so he wasn't even got to stay ahead of Joker. In fact, you know, he got close to getting Menk. Victor was a fifth. SLI in sixth. Two force injuries again, putting him a solid performance. J in seventh. Maxwell again disappointed, 40 seconds off the victory today. Liggins in ninth, and Yanaldi picks up the final championship point. And party folks a lap down, and Fagan uh, also a lap down, and the rest in DNF. So that's it. Uh, Let's have a quick look at the, the uh, driver standings before the points are applied. Well, it's really going to... Yeah, as, as you can see, Tim didn't have that victory. He DNF'd a few races. That's going to put him up the order quite a bit. And Meg, of course, will have... He's already over 200 points. And uh, continues his consistent streak. Well, uh, next week we're uh, going to be in the USA, and there'll be four races left. Only 100 points available. Will Menk bottle it or not? We'll find out. Thanks, uh, Fizzy, for joining me tonight. No worries, didn't have much choice. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fun, and uh, you never know, maybe I'll be back for the season finale as well. Oh yes, we'll uh, see if the see if the uh, championship is still at stake at that point. But uh, I'll be never mate. We'll see you next week. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye.